Wait, you thought you was fucking with who? Fucking with who? Bitch, please be for real. Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today we are back with a new video and today is hair is provided by Hermosa Hair. Hermosa Hair sent me over this beautiful wig included in a package with some lashes and a stocking cap and of course the wig itself. They sent me over this pretty, pretty, pretty curly, curly wig and it is a 26 inch but y'all the wig was so freaking full. It is a 220% density, super full absolutely love it the lace was given the curl pattern was given um and it was like a regular lace front so i do have like parting space in the middle not too much on the sides but nevertheless y'all i'm going to slay this look today okay but first and foremost y'all i want to show y'all how i went ahead and dyed this wig jet black using a watercolor method i'm just going to go in with one um with one bottle of that royal navy and then i'm going to also add in um one bottle of that jet black i did not use all four bottles i just only used two one of each so that's royal navy and jet black from temptations kiss and i'm just mixing both colors in the sink really really good y'all see i got my gloves on trying to give y'all professional period so um once i do that i will go ahead and take the lace wig and i'm going to dip it into the water I'm going to let it sit no more than 10 minutes because honestly, y'all, it takes really, really fast. And honestly, I did not use any hot water today. I actually used like pretty cool water and it still turned jet black really fast. So another thing, um, the lace did not turn, which is absolutely perfect. Um, the lace did not stain at all. So big thumbs up to her most of hair. We love a good lace that doesn't stain when coloring, okay? So after dipping this wig and I let it sit for 10 minutes, I came back and I just dipped it a little bit more. And then off camera, I'm just going to go ahead and bleach the knots and rinse the color out. I did not shampoo out the jet black. I only rinsed it. I do not, I no longer shampoo out color hair. My friend Jordan taught me that. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Slay by Jordan. Y'all know to go. The king of this shit, period. But, um, so yeah, I'm just going to, um, rinse that wig out, bleach the knots, and now we are back. Boom, y'all see me, face beat, bar cap, and this is what the wig looks like after letting it air dry, period. Super pretty, y'all, super full. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and place the wig onto my head. I'm going to cut the extra lace from around the ears, and then I will add my Ruby Kisses foundation, and I will be using, um, level 16, the lightest shade in that palette. Apply it over the inside and top of my um, lace wig, and then I will begin to lay down my layers of glue. So for my install today, y'all, I did use three layers, but just like three light layers. I didn't go too heavy. I mean, really, you could say like two and a half because the second layer that I added wasn't even like a real layer for real, okay? But nevertheless, um, this is the third layer. I just skipped the second one, but I'm going to just go ahead and do my third layer, putting it above the cap, and I'm just going to um, brush it back towards the hairline. Um, and I'm just going to uh, do that on both sides or whatever like that. Another quick thing I forgot to mention, you guys. Um, I did clean my hairline with alcohol. That's why, if you notice in the beginning, I showed y'all the two, like the discoloration from where I'm applying the glue in my actual makeup. You can kind of see it a little bit right here. But I did clean my hairline with alcohol before um, adding the adhesive, which is a very important step because you need to remove any dirt, oil, or makeup from your hairline. One, to get a longer lasting install, and two, for your glue to actually stick, okay? So I did go ahead and do that. Um, if I just forgot to mention it, if you didn't notice it. But now that the adhesive is clear, I'm gonna go ahead and place the adhesive right into the glue, and then I'm gonna press it very firmly with my fingertips, just going one side at a time. Then I'm gonna take my blow dryer 
on the warm setting and blow dry um blow dry my lace for a few minutes and then go in um with the hot comb and hot comb back my lace uh, my edges on the lace and then tie it down with the melt belt So I actually waited 10 minutes and let my lace simmer into that glue. And now I'm just gonna go in with my scissors and slit the lace down the middle and then go in with the razor comb and razor off the extra lace. Now y'all, make sure you get some fresh razors. My razors were not fresh and that's why it really took a lot out of me to really get that extra lace cut off. And I couldn't get as close to the, um, as, as close to the glued part as I would have liked to. But um, nevertheless, it still worked. I still managed. And then um, after I finished razoring off what I could, um, I went in with some more glue on the back of my hand and just slid the glue into those cracks where the lace was still lifting until I got all of that lace secured down. So as you can see, I'm pulling the lace back to see what's lifting. And I'm just going to slide that glue right up under there. And once I finish tacking everything down to the very T of the very edge of the lace, then I will go ahead and cut off the extra side I mean the other side and repeat the same steps. And as you can see, I'm just repeating the same thing here. I done cut that extra lace up already with that um, eyebrow razor. And now I'm going to place the glue on the back of my hand and tack down those areas still that's still lifting. Now, as far as the styling, as you guys can see from the thumbnail, I will be doing two ponytails, like a, a part down the middle with two ponytails and some baby hairs. And honestly, y'all, this wig was just so pretty and so full, like absolutely gorgeous. And I wanted to do like um, a brat style look. So that's why I decided to go with like the two ponytails, big, pretty, curly, puffy hair, and just giving face like I do, period. And you know, just something that's simple, but it gives a lot of like spunk, you know what I mean? So um, once I finish tacking down this lace all the way, I will go ahead and part my wig down the center. Um, so you like really sleek it down nice and good and then I will pull out the section for my baby hairs But for the styling today, I'm gonna be showing pretty much like one side and doing the other side off camera Just so this video is not super super long
So now that I have my part situated in the middle, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out the section that I'm gonna use for my baby hairs. I will be doing two baby hairs on each side. At first I was thinking about going dramatic, but then again, I changed my mind. Um, I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple for the baby hairs today. Um, so I'm just gonna pull out this section here, um, plait it out the way, pull out my sideburn area, plait it out the way, and then I'm going to uh, make my part. Um, this is a 13 by four, guys, so in other words, um, 13 by four or 13 by six. I don't know, it was giving me 13 by six fives because I felt like I was really able to make my part deep. But I'm not sure 13 by four or 13 by six, either way it goes, y'all. Please check the description box to, um, you know, to get exactly what this wig is as far as measurements. I was just so pleased with this wig and love this wig from the lace quality, the fullness, the curl pattern, to everything, so. Um, I feel like I have more parting space than I normally would, but um, make sure you guys check out the description details down below and also use my coupon code to shop this wig, to order this wig, to purchase this wig, okay? But um, nevertheless, I'm just plaiting my sideburn area out the way. Then I'm going to make another little part um, right there on the side. Now, this is not a full lace frontal wig, meaning it's not full parting space from ear to ear, but it was more than enough parting space for me to create the look that I wanted to create and I just kind of like finessed it a little bit as far as covering the tracks around the um ponytails but you guys will see how I would do that because like I mentioned you guys I will show you guys one side in detail and then just do the other side off camera but for right now what I'm going to do is just take that wax stick apply it all over that area and just really hot comb to get this area nice flat and smooth And so as you can see, as I parted the space, you guys can see how the wig was actually customized. So when I say it's not a full lace frontal, the tracks do start higher up, closer to the hairline when you get towards the sides. But all I did was just part um, the hair in the same flow of the um, wig construction to just make sure I have hair to cover those tracks. But I'm still gonna hot comb and sleep this up and um, kind of just bantu, like fake bantu knot this area out the way. But just giving myself like a little, you know, like a little foundation of how I'm going to have my ponytail. Just kind of get into the look a little bit. But I'm just going to messy bantu knot this hair out the way. That way I can do the other side off camera and I don't get anything mixed up in my parting space. And again, I'm just repeating the same stuff to this other side, parting it around, adding that wax stick, sleeking everything around my parting area. And then I'm going to bend to not messily that part out of the way as well.
so now what I'm going to do now is go back in with the foundation Ruby Kisses. I just took a little bit of that darker shade and um, mostly that my natural color shade and just tapping it across my hairline just to get rid of that little light cast that I was noticing that I had. And now I'm going to take my even holding spray and I'm going to spray it on my finger and tap it across the lace. That way it's more of a cleaner application versus spraying it and it get all everywhere and all of that. So I'm just going to um, just continue to tap it across my hairline and tie that melt belt down once again. So while that melt belt is sitting, we're going to go ahead and create our ponytail. So I'm just going to take a rubber band and I'm going to be using a small, not the small, small rubber band, but more so like, you know how they have the small, tiny rubber bands that have like the medium size and they have like the extra large. I'm going to be taking a medium size and I'm just going to go ahead and flip that into my hand twice. And I did not add any holding spray, anything to my ponytail. I just kept it pretty soft and smooth because I'm going to add the holding spray afterwards. But I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the hair around the rubber band around my ponytail. And I'm just going to pretty much just pull it tight and because I'm just slick it down and smooth it. Like doing ponytails on other people, easy. One, two, three. On myself, y'all, it'd be kind of real hard. Plus, I'd be having nails on too. So it just really just give me a hard time. So that's why I decided to just keep it soft and just pull it tight. And then I'll just smooth and slick whatever down that just need to be slicked down. But I went ahead and did the first ponytail and I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. And I just did that second ponytail now that that's complete. So now I'm going to go with the even holding spray now and kind of do all my slicking and smoothing down and molding. Um, taking a blow dryer on the heat setting, spraying that even and just doing what I do until I get it nice and smooth and sleek how I want it to be. And I'm going to repeat the same step to both sides. Now to get that nice seamless ponytail look, we're going to take a thin part of that hair and we're going to um, add some holding spray, comb through it and we're going to continue to wrap it around the ponytail. 
um, until it is all the way done and spray a little more even spray on the end to secure it in place. Some people like to use a little tad, uh, tad piece of bonding glue, but y'all know me, I change my wigs like I change my drawers. <laughs> so um, this wig won't be in long, so there's no need to even do all that. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm just using a holding spray and it can, it can still be nice and secure with just a holding spray. You don't have to use bonding glue. Um, to tack it down just apply enough holding spray smooth it and you're good to go so I'm going to do that to both sides as well So now I'm just going in really quickly with the dye pen just got to get a little closer up on the roots to just collect any, I mean correct any slightly over bleached knots. And now um, I'm going to go ahead and remove that melt belt and just let y'all see what that lace looks like. We're going to get into it. It's going to get melted, period, per, as it should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melt, baby, melt. Right up in that. Oh, yeah, period. Don't play with it. Don't play with your girl. But um, now, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and um, do my baby hairs off camera because I ain't had time for the frustration today. We just want to make this video cute, quick, simple, to the point. I ain't trying to be struggling on camera about no baby hair. So um, this is the idea of what it's going to look like. And boom, back with the baby hairs. Boom, quick, simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and take some foundation and lay it in my part concealer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I realized I kept, my hand wasn't real steady today, y'all. So my hand was all going to the side or whatever like that. But it's cool because y'all know we're going to clean that thing up anyway with some black spray. So I just added the color into the part. Then I'm going to lay my rat tail comb in my, t you know, and then go in with the black spray and, you know, clean that up. And um, I went back in again, once again, with that concealer foundation in the middle to clean it up some more and then finish touching up my part or whatever like that till I got it how I want it. Then after I did that, um, I'm going to take some pink glosser just to add a little shine to my hair so it don't look so, so dry looking because sometimes when you add that holding spray um in the um black spray it look a little dry but i just add a little pink glosser um it's becoming my favorite thing recently y'all i'm not even gonna lie to y'all it's becoming my favorite thing um just to add a little shine to the hair so it don't look so dull they give it a little it looks just a shine, 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 shine. but now i'm taking a wig brush and just brushing through it um some of the stuff don't mind the back of the wig y'all it's tight i have it scrapped tightly but you know of course when you pull down your wig is going to pull with it but my wig is very much secure very much secure and that's just on period but i'm just um, brushing out the curls so i can really get that full fluffiness look and then i'm going to go in with the water bottle spray lightly lightly i ain't trying to be soaking wet and i don't want to tone the curls down like this wig is super full so i really wanted to give y'all that super fullness effect okay so oh it's giving tarzan lion queen period love it love it love it absolutely love this curl pattern absolutely love the fullness of the wig like it's so freaking bomb okay so i'm just taking a little bit of water and just spraying it it may look like i'm spraying a lot y'all but it's a little bit i promise you just to kind of define the curls a little bit and then i'm going to do it to the other side disclaimer do not pay attention to the stain on my shirt y'all um <laughs> we in the house we creating content i wasn't going nowhere but i wanted my head to be laid and my face to be beat so please disregard the little makeup stain that i have on my shirt y'all clearly i did my makeup today um but i'm still gonna give y'all this full 360 like this freaking hair is the bomb.com like i have no complaints down to the lace the wig construction 
everything like it is given. I'm going to give y'all a 360. The hair is super full, super pretty. And here is real time. No speeding up. Yeah, get into it, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Turn around and look at that. Yes. Come on, 26 inch. Don't play with your girl. Super full. That's real 220 density right there, baby. All right, y'all. But nevertheless, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.